said that your father, mm -hmm. uh, he, he wrote that song originally? Yes. So was it adapted to the guitar? From yes. The piano? It was. Um, what I'm doing is, I, my, my father's a piano player, and what I'm doing is uh, transposing, if you will, okay. um, all his music onto guitar. And so these songs have never been played on guitar before. And that's amazing. Uh, so, I mean, that in itself has got to be kind of probably a daunting task. It really is, and it's funny because I always say I'm still learning from my dad. Sure. Because by, by taking his music and converting him over to a guitar, I just don't have, you know, as many notes available to me as a piano does. Sure, Especially sure. with the two hands being free because it takes both my hands to... Exactly. So I have to kind of um, abbreviate at times, but um, I can still get the gist of it across. Well, that translation comes across real nice. Thank you, thank you. Oh. It's very challenging, but I love it. So tell us, um, I guess, where, where should we start here? Should we, you you want to talk a little bit about what's going on right now, currently present? Uh, you want to talk a little bit well, about the you know, you want to... We, uh, we can take a little chronological history. Um, yeah, um, you know, growing up in Minnesota in the mid-80s, um, when I really got, I, I started playing violin and clarinet I didn't even in the know. 70s. Cool. You know, giving away my age here. But, uh, um, and then when I, I got in, I got, I got sucked into rock and roll. I just heard the electric guitar, you know, and... Uh, and I wanted to play guitar. That was it. It called you. That what what song yeah. called you? What 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 was? Uh, there had to be something you heard that called you. It, I think we had this discussion, but I, 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 it's so cliche. Uh, smoke on the moon. There you go. <laughs> when I heard <laughs> the simplicity. When I the, heard that, it was, like, it was just oh, it grabs you. Yeah. It, well, it was plus the electric guitar sound for the story. Oh sure. Yeah. Like that rock sound. Oh yeah. When I heard that. I was just like. Like, I grew up with piano in the house. Sure. My mom's a composer, too. You're like, whoa, whoa, what is this? Yeah, so it was just so <laughs> different. It was just, like, so rebellious. Sure. So, like, oh, yeah, so that's me. Now, what did, where, when you when you got a little bit of that deep purple, where, where, did, it, where did it start to bring? What direction did you head from there? Um, I, mean, how, I was having the current band's Kiss. Yeah. You know, late 70s Kiss. I mean, I mean, if you were a 14-year-old in the 70s Kiss, nobody was going to Kiss. Oh, Y'all have some of that white <laughs> makeup on. Yeah, right, I do. <laughs> I He's got the Paul star on his eye. I wanted to be ace, but yeah, right. So, uh, and um, yeah, I mean, yes, yeah, so, I mean, that was cool. Right no, uh, what can you uh, can you tongue? Can you take? Tongue <laughs> can can you Gene Simmons uh, your nose there? Um, we're gonna find out later. <laughs> <laughs> we're not all. There's there's certain parties in the room that we like. Um, what what was it like? Don't get too red. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like having? Um, Two different influences from such a broad spectrum of music. There, you know, having stuff like Deep Purple and Kiss and that stuff, but also having your your dad in in the house and, and still obviously very active in, in music. Mm -hmm. What was well, that? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, well, I always knew, even when I was doing the rock thing, I mean, I was still studying classical and, and jazz at home. I mean, I knew that at some point that was. You kept the roots. Yeah, I knew. I knew it was. You know, it was very important. I just knew that, and it's now paying off clearly because. Um, now I'm a full-time working guitarist, and those two influences keep me working a lot, so I can cross both, uh, you know, into both camps. And which we'll we'll be listening to in a little bit. You'll hear the versatility uh, over here. Uh, Big E just stepped in the building. E, uh, hold on. on. There you go. I just I just unmuted you. How are you? Pretty good, and you? So what was going on in '95? Uh, there's a bad wreck there. They're pulling a motorcycle off to the side of the road. That's no good. So looks like dude probably. Good. That's good. Well, we're glad to have you on. Uh, we'll be talking in a little bit. We got Phil Fest here. Um, what's going on next, Phil? What do we got? Well, what we're going to do here, we're going to uh, do another duet number here. All right. Duel here, and uh, we're going to do a uh, one of you know probably the I guess a new American classic. It's okay. Uh, by Nora Jones. Love Nora. Uh, it's. Um, uh oh, Jack. You uh, don't know you, why. You're pulling off the Nora, huh? All right, guys. Yeah. And Jack Madeiros. Phil Fest. Well, real quick, Jackie is probably the finest interpreter of this song I've heard. Uh, oh, and if it's coming from Phil, <laughs> we're uh, we're in for something. All right, guys. Phil Pest and Jack Madero. <laughs> we'll be back on Soul Live.